Hey y'all, let's get started with this wet and wild orange look. I brought it, yeah. I'm using a peachy orange lipstick. So I'm gonna use this Fergie BB cream as my primer. I think it might be a little dark for me. This is in light medium. And I'm just gonna rub this on like a moisturizer and sunscreen. Actually, it's not so bad. And primer it has a very odd scent. I can't put my finger on it. It's a cross between um, a cleanser and what else? A cookie. A coconut cookie. Is that weird? A little bit weird. It's a little bit weird. <clears throat> then I'm going to use this coverall foundation in Fair Light 816. Can you see that? Can you stare? It's like it was me trying to read it or something. And I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. This stuff is very fluid, so. Excuse me. Just going to dot some around. This isn't snow. That's nice. The other one, though, was slightly weird. Don't know why. Okay. I think I have enough on. Just gonna buff that in. I don't know if I like the way it buffs. Kind of a sticky. Let's go on to this. Beauty Blender to the rescue. This looks a little light when I first apply it. Um, the Wet n Wild foundation oxidizes slightly, so. It ends up matching pretty darn good. I'd say for wear time, about four hours. Honestly, it doesn't last that long. Um, maybe if I used a different primer and a different setting powder than what Wet n Wild offered me. Which made me think of something. <laughs> I'm having thoughts. I shouldn't be having thoughts. It's all right, I won't do it that way. Side. I'm gonna use this. I got a different colored um, concealer. This is in light, the Wet n Wild coverall. It's a little pinky, a little salmony. If you got dark circles that are purplish, that would work really well for you. I'm just pressing it in gently, as gentle as I can. Oh, look, it's a mask. You like my nails? I'm a little obsessive about nails. My own, actually. I have way too many nail polishes for somebody who's sane. I'm just gonna pounce that in with my beauty blender. And then taking this coverall pressed powder, light pale. And a velour puff. Poof. Mine just happens to be from Laura Mercier. And I'm just gonna roll some powder over my skin. If you're looking for nice large velour powder puffs, try your local costume shop. Um, I have one that's awesome. It's called Burt Easley's. It's actually where I buy my Ben Nye product. Um, and they've got all kinds of great makeup tools to try. They do. Yeah. Huh. All right. <laughs> Grabbing for. I don't have um, any eyebrow stuff from Wet n Wild, so I'm just gonna use this Revlon Brow Fantasy real quick. Draw some girls in there. I like my brows darker than they naturally are. I've always worn dark brows. It just seems to be my thing. Wow, that's separating under my eye. 
not a good sign. Some things are a hit, some things are a miss. But that's all right, we can work with what we got. I mean, I just pushed some powder under there. That should help quite a bit. Taking a spoolie. Just brushing those things into place. They're like caterpillars! Okay, I still haven't picked up, I'm sorry about it, I still haven't picked up eye primer from Wet n Wild. I feel like an idiot. I'm just gonna use this Tarte one because it's almost gone. I don't even know if they make this kind any longer. It's called Lifted. It's from my um, True Blood Tarte palette collection that I got that was limited edition a few years back. Two years back? Three years? Maybe three. I probably shouldn't be using the product, but I don't, I don't, I don't, not, I always use it. I have to use it! <laughs> I actually think this is going to go into my empties, which I've never filmed before, but I think I'm going to film, actually, my empties pretty darn soon. I'll probably be wearing this uh, exact same hair and makeup. I'm taking a Wet n Wild palette called a Great Glistener. It's got some neutrals in it. Grabbing for a shadow brush. I'm gonna start with this uh, champagne shade and just press that into my lid. Both sides. And a little bit under my brow since it is so shimmery. Pretty. It looks like fairy dust. Fairy dust! I'm going to take that blue shade in the center. And just place that blue on my mobile lid. Okay. Taking a 217 and this brown shade. I'm going to frame that work and blend into it. Frame this work and blend into it. And with the same brush, this matte chocolate color, just to add that extra oomph in the corner of my eye. So that's where I like my oomph. I'm gonna grab for a big fluffy blending brush and work out all those harsh edges. Grabbing for my detail brush from Real Techniques and with that shimmery air brown color Just going into the corner of my eye. So you can barely tell I put blue on, right? Isn't that weird? <laughs> Take a little more blue. There. And it's just, it turns into like this subtle gray wash. For liner, we're going to use a nice bright pop of color. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in called indigo blue hello indigo it's a liquid liner with a brush a little pop of color a little summer surprise small wing You'd be surprised by these Wet n Wild liners. For as little as they cost, they work really, really well. Actually, right now, my favorite gel liner is by Wet n Wild. This is a great way to experiment with color 
before you make a big purchase on those expensive brands like on a Urban Decay and the Stila's. I love those too. Don't don't get me wrong. They're awesome. Some in a hand basket. Let's curl those lashes. I'm gonna use Megalink Wet n Wild mascara. Not my favorite. I do actually like this tiny little brush for using under my bottom lashes. But I just don't see a lot of benefit in the mascara. And I try. I'm trying. I'm trying. Is there a wet and wild mascara that you have as a favorite? Um, so far, I haven't found a wet and wild one that I liked. I love the Jordana one, and that one's about the same price. But this will do in a pinch if you had no mascara. It does a nice job lengthening, it just kind of clumps up on me. So, get some blush. I need some blush. Pearly Essent Pink. It's a classic. And for lips, we're going to use this really inexpensive uh, peachy pink color called Sunset Peach, which is classified as orange. I love shimmery lipstick. So that was my complete Wet n Wild face. I'm sure you're going to see me in this outfit a couple more videos because I have a few more planned to line up to film right now that I have a couple of seconds to sit down and be like, hey, let's talk. What's up? What's up? So this is the look. I hope you'd enjoyed it. It's all pretty damn affordable. That's for sure. Um, and I think it works out well. I think it looks nice. Because I look like a China doll. Anywho, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and easy being green. Orange. But it sure is fun. I'll see you next time.